Good afternoon, this is Greg Noble here with P News. We're actually at Occupy Wall Street, right here on Wall Street in New York City, bringing you guys the latest information from the occupation, bringing you what it's all about and what's going on. Come on, let's go take a look. I don't want it. They're all democracy. Being artistic, being creative, being critical in their thinking, taking responsibility, not just for their little corner of the world, but for the whole future of the planet. I want to make a change, not for me, but for everybody else. I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for everybody else. I've been college educated, not able to pay my loans back, you know, find, find work in my field, so... So I, this is a huge step for you to come out to New York from Colorado well, to, to... You know, I, I couldn't see myself letting the revolution pass me by for one, and for two, um, remaining plugged into the broken system that allows, you know, the, the wealth disparity that we have today. Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday I start my job and I will come to come here right after work. And uh, what is your profession? I'm a union iron worker. And what is your next job? My next job is at the Battery Park baseball field. And what brings you out here every day after work to do this? I'm sick of watching the middle class in America get uh, raped into poverty. Uh, we need to strengthen the middle class. We need to... I mean, I have a whole laundry list of things I would like to see change, but if I could only ask for one thing to come out of this, it would be campaign finance reform. Can you just tell us if you could walk out of here tomorrow with one thing changed, what would be that one thing? Um, we'd have a classless society, and we ain't gonna stop fighting until we have one. It's not just one thing. It's a, a whole lot of things, but I guess an umbrella term would be social reform. What's going to take it for you to get out of the park? I would say an end to lobbyism. An end to lobbyism. There could be one change that, that could be made that would get you out of the park, that would keep you satisfied. What is that one thing you're looking for? Uh, there is no one thing you're looking for. There is, there is so many things that I'm looking for. A better social welfare in America, like that of Norway and other first world countries, okay. that would get me out of the park. If you could walk out of the park with one thing, what is that one thing that you're looking for change for? For uh, public awareness to be raised. About? about the centralization of power and the dangers of possesses. So if you could walk out of here in you know, a week or tomorrow with one thing changed, what would that one thing be for you? More opportunity for the common man, you know what I mean? As far as job opportunity and, and just more understanding that people are out here struggling. This whole thing, it's, it's like a lot about accountability and that's a lot of our generation is about. I mean, we're taking responsibility for our environment, for our economy, for just our world, you know, more, more so than in the past. I think really we're just looking for financial reform. You know, that the 1% of our country has just run us into the grounds. Here we are, protesters, hundreds getting arrested. No one on Wall Street has gotten arrested that should yet, and it's, it's time for that to change. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor bringing you the news right here live from Occupy Wall Street. We brought you the news. Keep the conversation going. Let's see where we can go with this movement and keep it here on P News. Thanks so much.